Hello guys and welcome to Supreme Ruler Ultimate. Today, me, Shibi, and Narfi are starting a World War II playthrough where we are playing as the Axis. Germany being played by Shibi, Japan by Narfi, and I will be playing Italy. And we are going to conquer the Allies and the world! So first things first, espionage up, everything that we're not using off, we gotta figure out our stuff over here lock the minister from pretty much everything i'm going to get social spending on basically everything into the middle of the bar all oh, right i start out at war with ethiopia oh man oh yeah that's gonna yeah, be fun be no problem i forgot about that i gotta make sure my military is set up in a certain way before we unpause i gotta prioritize that a little bit yeah my alert condition starts out at Elevated, so that's fun. Yeah, you would think that Germany would have Jaegers, the Falschum Jaegers. No, they uh, the Brandenburgers. You can get the Falschum Jaegers later, I think. But your the Brandenburgers are what you want right now. Uh, I know I'm going to need improved power grid more than anything, so I'm going to prioritize. That. Are you guys hearing me right now? Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, yeah. I did, I didn't uh, push the talk, but hold on. Crap. Ha 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 ha. Applied my ROE, and we're going to need to be real careful down here. There we go. With what we have, what air power do I have? Not a lot, but I have some. I could probably get some more down here. But we are kind of far away from everything else. We start out with Libya and Eritrea as a colony. Let's there start this out okay. nice and slow. I'm starting it out at very slow. Uh, I have to manage a war while setting up my country, so that's going to be fun. Do you guys want to support each other again like we did last time? Yeah, we could. Yeah, we could. I don't All think right. it's going to live us much money, but... <laughs> I will support you guys. I've already started. And now I must fight Ethiopia. Oh yeah, I should fund their insurgency. What the hell is this? Construction of a supply depot has begun. It's already finished. Is this a script? Italy apparently has a, a script or two that I didn't really know about at the start that even works in multiplayer. That was surprising. They have scripts that place supply depots, of all things. Also, I will support the event Germany reoccupies the Rhineland. Also, let me max all my taxes out. Alright. Yes. Uh, we gotta right get man. started here. So, let's get everything headed down, and we gotta go take swamp. some villages. Get everyone moving. We're moving very, very slow speed here, but it's gonna be okay. I'm gonna use air support to support my push. Gotta get everything moving on the capital of Ethiopia to try to knock them out. And if you guys could support or uh, well, fund the insurgency of Ethiopia while their military approval is already pretty low due to just starting the game out. That would be most appreciated. Done that. There's some dudes it. over here by themselves. We're not going to leave them over here. We're going to route them over here to this supply depot where they'll actually have supplies. Same thing with these infantry. It's going to take a while to move because there are roads here and not rails. There's also some unnecessary roads, but these are colonies, I can't really affect things that well. And in the meantime, you guys will first meet up here, and then move forward on this industrial complex. If there's any infantry here too, they will also move up. Yep, we got some more. Gotta try to stay on the roads where the supply is. Now, I don't think I have access to the Suez, but I'm going to try to go through it and just see what happens with just one unit. I'm curious how that will go. All right, there we go. The axis has been formed. Yes. Wow. <laughs> formed really, really early. Are we going to ally with historical axis members like Hungary and Romania? No, I am. <laughs> you are? Yeah. Okay, I'll start supporting Hungary, Romania, and I believe Bulgaria was also in it. Oh yeah, there's also Spain. Spain was borderline Axis. Should we befriend them too? I can get an alliance with Spain right now. Yeah, don't they get a coup d'etat fairly early on? They might, yes. That is true. I think they do. Yeah, I, I can get an alliance with them as well. You want to get yeah, it just too. for funsies? Just for shits and giggles? Sure, why not? Just for just for funsies. Alright, fucking alliance and everything with Spain, because why not? I can't get it with Romania yet. I can get everything else. Yeah, Romania and them are going to take a little bit longer. Was there anyone else? Not really. 
I know this, uh, the Soviets script-wise are going to eat all of the Baltics, by the way. What's your you strategy, Germany, so by the way? My strategy? Not to clear war in the fucking U.S. and take Russia. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we got a recon a armored car. Secure my, uh, secure my western front first. I'm gonna start sending my air forces forward. How much of my air forces is this? Four? Where's the rest? I know I had more. But first, I gotta fix my my own house. Yes, for once you will take Ethiopia. <laughs> not have some weird. That definitely takes it. <laughs> not have some weird fucking peace treaty half line drawn down the goddamn middle. <laughs> oh yeah, with the way this shit always goes. Let's make sure we're not selling any uranium. We don't need to sell that. We don't want to sell military goods. We're already selling it. We got to stop that. We want to hoard all of our military goods, especially since we're actually at war. Right. Rubber's going to be an issue. Yeah. I think there's some rubber here, maybe. No. Yes, there's some in one of my colonies. Very little. Very little. I'll take Greta and I take the Malayan states. Yeah, that's that's pretty much how that goes. Well, you could, you could also go for Siam, like uh, like was said. Also, Indochina later. You have the rubber market in your hands, and we place our trust in you. Yes, I will take it. You are the rubber god. <laughs> All right, we have progressed. We have taken one village. I know we're moving really slowly, but I still have to set everything up. We don't have as many texts or anything to go through, but I'm still just going to do those more off screen it's so nice being in world war ii and not having like two hours worth of technology for designs that i already have or need to get to go through oh, i forgot how terrible my starting tanks were well germany's are actually all of our start out shit yeah we're, we're garbage pull a hitler and get the czechoslovakian one <laughs> let me see what design it was but i'm sure the, yeah the panzer 35t that one it's super cheap too or you could get the russian one the t35 the T-35 is a bit of a gas guzzler, though. It's real good, but it has very little utility. The Czechoslovakian one's probably a better overall tank, like like a Sherman versus a T-30. Yeah, that's anyway. what I already put in. UK denies aid to France. Despite growing fears of German militarization with the reoccupation of the Rhineland, British Foreign Secretary Anthony Eden has turned down French requests for military aid. Say ah! levy. Ho ho ho! Surrender. Ho ho ho! I will crush the friends. We got some fighting over the next town going on. Our artillery have opened fire already. The infantry's moving in. This should be an easy takeover, that's for sure. We also have some more arty over here that could do with moving up. Oh, they have actually a number of things out there that could hurt us, including some arty. I'm just going to move the air up just in case, even if they don't get there in time. Just because. And over here, we've actually just, you know not met any resistance at all so that's actually pretty nice we're gonna start moving up on the southern flank now and we're pretty much just bum rushing the capital we got to get them to roll over basically ethiopia's military approval is still going up and paraguay got a fascist regime i support support, support les fascists so how does it feel to be the inventor of fascism historically actually um mussolini was the first fascist dictator. yeah yeah i was referring to that oh. actually oh I thought you were talking to me. I'm like, I didn't do it. <laughs> feels pretty good. It also feels good knowing that in less than 10 years, I'm going to run for my life while my country surrenders, and some guy's going to recognize me on the street <laughs> and kill me. Ooh, should we add Paraguay into the alliance? Uh, well, I, I mean, that event that. might not that event might not actually turn them into much, but I definitely support it. Do support it. Okay. I see we're already kind of running into issues up here with keeping supply going. Um, we need a supply truck to get down here to support these units. Thank God the air was on the way. We got more infantry coming in. Do I even have a barracks over here yet? I'm realizing that there may not even be a barracks over here yet. Where is the nearest barracks? Is it like only the Ethiopian barracks? That's kind of fucked. <laughs> that, that is kind of fucked up. Alright, our air raid has ended. We are arriving just fine with these units. Gotta keep them moving south. They have some of their infantry coming up to fight us. Their infantry is very weak, though. Proceed down the road to the next village. Down south, our arty 
unfortunately, reach the front first. The infantry is going to take longer just due to distance. Actually, the infantry can keep going. Uh, Artie can go here, and I know there's at least one, there's one plane, what is it? Patrol plane down here that can go in to assist. Let's see my planes. Yeah, this is going to be a little bit of an interesting area to break through. Let me see if I can actually maneuver my planes down there or not. They'd be pretty helpful with that. We're doing pretty well so far. Our units are moving up and claiming ground. That's pretty nice. We gotta start moving units forward some more. All my planes are kind of just getting intercepted over the capital. They have some AA here, unfortunately. We are taking some damage. But we do have units moving up still. This infantry's getting fucked up ten ways to Sunday. I do have that merchant marine still headed south to the Suez, and we're gonna find out if we can actually cross the Suez. We have moved up and taken this city, pushing the enemies back one way or another, even if this one infantry was getting messed up. We can get the other units pushing forward as well. Yeah, we're pushing them back because a lot of these are just defensive units with supply trucks and shit. Got one infantry coming over here. They shouldn't have a lot of garrisons yet. We should be moving fast enough that we should be avoiding that kind of stuff. Gotta get supply trucks moving forward to actually deliver their supplies so that we can keep shooting, especially these armored cars that are pushing up and causing us problems. Our tanks are moving up. Our tanks might actually be fairly reliable. Some of our planes here have gotten kind of messed up. Keeps the supplies moving up while we push on the capital. The capital is going to be a little bit of a bitch here, as you can see. Even for our tanks, it's going to be a pain. I don't know if that one's going to get away in time. No, it's kind of out of supplies up here. It's out of juice. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's capital. Yeah, but the capital's gonna be a pain in the ass. My infantry's not moving as fast as the tanks. The tanks kinda got there a little early. And it appears your tanks are out of supply as well. Yeah. Fucking desert. The supply trucks are moving slow as fuck, too. I did get rid of this armored recon, though. The infantry's starting to catch up with all the arty, though. The Italian tanks of this time are terrible as well, which doesn't help. But I know I do have a, at least one supply depot, so that should be moving supplies down the road will help when the infantry move up. The south is going just fine though. South is going much better. Right, I got a bomber up to support this forward push. Because boy, we need stuff to support the forward push. I'm trying to get my arty to start attacking the enemy arty and hopefully that will help move some things along here. They have a lot of arty out here at their capital that I have to deal with. Looks like we can get troops through the Suez Canal, which is good. I'll send a bunch at the very least in case we need them. They'll be on the way and headed down there. We'll certainly probably end up needing some amount of reinforcements. The units that start here are not necessarily enough. And they die very easily, especially due to the lack of a barracks in this region. Uh, I'm still going through, like, getting rid of all the obsolete units. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get my military standardized. I've barely been looking through that. I have to focus on what's what? happening over here. What military? Germany doesn't have a military. Wink, wink. All oh, right. I mean, these uh, peacekeeper um, things. <laughs> I'm about to go tear up that fucking treaty of Versailles is what I'm gonna do. Yeah! I started building barracks in Ethiopia now that the push has kind of slowed down. I don't know how many reinforcements I'm gonna need, but I know I'm not gonna end up at war in the beginning of the game, so I'm just kind of putting everyone into boats to go to Ethiopia. <laughs> 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 it's gonna be excessive, I know that, but I want to get it done with quickly so I can focus on other things. Hey, our other tanks are finally moved up to this front line. Maybe they can help kill this garrison. The garrisons alone are going to be a problem. Supply is so bad over here. Try down here in Ethiopia. Huh, <laughs> 6%. <laughs> it gets even worse the closer to the front you get. Every town down here counts. The lack of the barracks is the real thing that hurts you in the beginning, though. I did send one unit early on to test if I could actually access the Suez and... Woo, I can! Oh, I can get my alliance with Romania now. They have so much arty in that little barracks of theirs, oh my god. Maybe it's good I'm sending so much. Maybe that will actually just help me overwhelm them. Who knows? I'm gonna try to send them in, like, waves, though, just because of supply. Yeah, whittle them down little by little. Yeah. Your barracks are gonna take forever to build. Britain announces naval buildup. I condemn this, sir! I can get everything but an alliance with Hungary, so that's good. Oh my god, I took something! Ah! Oh. <laughs> oh my god. I'm maintaining one-to-one yeah, so -one ratio. I have 16 kills, 16 deaths. 
It's so annoying to keep it positive while actually pushing quickly. <laughs> horses. Use your cavalry. Yeah, dude. Send in the horses. <laughs> Send in the cavalry. Literally. Literal cavalry. Now that I'm next to them, though, I can quite literally just grind away at them if I so choose. I might lose some units of my own doing it, but I think it's worth it. These are all trash units anyway. They're all like infantry. Like, they're not good infantry either. They're just infantry. Not special forces. Not marines. Infantry. Just like, yuck. Infantry. Yeah. The yucky kind. My planes can't even reach the capital. They turn back the moment they're about to arrive. <laughs> and I have more units in the south. It's just they're in the desert and they need time and supply. I think I finally took their fucking barracks, though. I just had to kill the one offensive unit that was on top of it. I killed all the artillery, so now I'm actually at a positive KDR. So the capital should fall soon. And then if it does, I could just send all these units that are on the way back. But they're they're getting here in case I need them. Had their military base anyway. That's another land production and an airfield. I don't want to land there, though. <laughs> That's a terrible idea. I just, like, barely don't have enough units at the front to grind away at them fully, but I'm doing my best. I'm sending everything. Do you need some help? No, I'm gonna do it. It's just taking me a minute. They're down to their capital. It's mainly garrisons on it. Already has such terrible range at this point. There's only one thing remaining on that capital that is not a garrison. Only one thing. Slowly trudging in units. Because if I can keep offensive units on the military base, then the Artie can keep shooting. But the Artie needs to be like one hex away, annoyingly. It'd be much nicer if there were rails down here. I got two more tanks coming from the south, though. I got two tanks on the hex, and they're doing a pretty good job. The Artie's lighting them up. Starting to get through them, yeah. They're Artie and their garrison's about to die, but there's still two more garrisons after that. Okay, Almost. we're chewing through them. Almost there. We're chewing through them. I think much better than the AI does. I haven't done this one in forever. I've done better, I've done worse. I remember once, a long time ago, what I actually did was I held off on the invasion completely. And then just sent the entire Italian army, kind of like I'm doing already. If you look to the north, by the way... <laughs> if you look to the north, you're gonna see what I like to call excess. <laughs> you never have enough. Once this is done, I'm literally just sending everything back, though. The supply here's not good enough. The barracks are almost Take done, though. Not that that matters, I already have a barracks. I took it! Oh my god, he surrendered! Yay! Ah, alright! Everybody! You're going home! Even though a lot of you started out here, everybody, you're still going home. We just got here. Yeah, literally, they just got here. And now the war's over. Oh well. Time to go home. There's a land production here, so it'll keep producing units slowly anyway. So resources. I'm not good on coal. I'm good on metal ore. I'm not good on oil. Oy. I, I can fix that. I need timber, maybe. Rubber, I definitely need. Agriculture, I'm good. Good on consumer goods, indie goods, Narfie, debatable. Did you get the alliance with Romania? Military goods, meh. Uh, not yet. I can't get it yet. We can get rid of... And what are you doing, Seth? All of our cons mids. What is Japan up to? Uh, just looking for allies, uh, preparing my military, you know, the usual. <laughs> I'm gonna keep Russia happy because I don't want them to attack me. Ah, oh, but you shouldn't. See, if you take that island to the north right there, there's a lot of oil there. Yeah, I know, but if I'm gonna take China, I don't want uh, to Russia to stab on my back. Yeah. Trust me when I say this, oh. the only thing you'll worry about from the Russians is just their garrisons. Are you going to annex China? Yeah, I know. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. But I do think it's going to be my first target. Oh, your first one? Well, good luck then, sir. Thank you. Oh, yeah, there's a little well, part of Formosa, too, that has a military complex. It's probably better that I left the uh, colony thing off this time. Because there's no production, there's just military outposts. We can get rid of some small coal stuff. I'm probably going to start hoarding my industry now that I think about it. Yeah, we don't want to sell our industry goods because I know that can be a shortage thing for my last playthrough. We're still at the beginning. I doubt I sold very much. I was using more like the entire time. I can keep an eye on it in case I need to buy more. The tumor goods still good after getting rid of all the mids, which is good. 
But we have some end mids and stuff we have to get rid of as well. Some mill mids. And replace them with full sized ones. But every 10 of these is only one big one, really. So we can pretty much afford to get rid of all the mids and. So what's the Simply first target of things. Uh, Germany? Poland or France? Also, we have two petrol plants. I'm going to get rid of those, too. Well, naturally, I want to say Poland. Well, Germany's first actual target was Austria. And then Czechoslovakia. Oh, Czechoslovakia, yes. And then technically Lithuanian Memel, but you're not going to be able to do it like that. Due to its colony status. And due to the scripts being off in multiplayer. But does he get to Austria by event? Or no. does he have no. to declare war? He will have to declare war in multiplayer. The event sometimes pops up in multiplayer, but you can't activate it. And it does suck, but it's not that hard, especially with the critical international opinion off. It goes fine. It goes yeah, fine. Yeah, true. Well, historically, I'm two years out from actually when I'm supposed to invade Austria, so... Yeah, the invasions don't start for a little bit. Yeah. I have no plans right now, so don't ask me. <laughs> yeah. I've annexed Ethiopia, though. That's nice. Well, I mean, maybe it's nice. There's nothing here. So for right now, I'm just militarizing. But you can't do that. Says who? The French? The Brits? Right yeah, now. says the French. What? I mean, here, just a reminder of a history lesson, something they don't teach you in schools, unfortunately. Right before yeah, World anymore. War II, in the early 30s, France invaded Germany and occupied part of its territory with bullshit claims because they're like oh well the germans aren't paying us enough they owe us money still it's like yeah they owe you money because you're asking for too much both the u.s and the uk condemned france for the invasion france held on to the german territory for t i think two years before leaving fuck france <laughs> <laughs> just a general fuck france fuck france i don't like much. france <laughs> They are the assholes of history. Italian Somaliland has some land. Let's get them making rubber plantations for us. Ideally, I'm going to annex everything down here anyway. So I might as well have what's down here working for me. I already have, oh, they're already, they're already out of money. They'll figure it out. I might just annex them soon so I can build this myself if they don't keep up. I already have Ethiopia, Italian Eritrea I'll surely eat. I will maintain a military presence down here so that the colonies can be conquered. Go around buying some techs. There's already one we can get from the Soviets. There's so many we can get from the Allies. So many. Damn, there's so many techs we can get from the Allies. Like, they're way ahead of us. China, the nationalist government writes a draft of the Constitution. Condemn. Condemn. You don't deserve a constitution. God, there's so many jokes that I want to say that I just shouldn't. <laughs> All right, so Germany, how? Let's discuss future plans of how Europe's getting split. Um, I take all of it. Oh, all right. Well, I'll see you in Africa. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I'm out. Whoa, fuck. <laughs> Germany declares war on Italy. <laughs> oh no! When I said all of it, I meant all of it. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Hitler, no! How about you take Albania, Greece, um, you could have Bulgaria. Bulgaria was historically Axis. Oh yeah. You oh say, yeah, they're allies, that's right, I forgot. You wanna say I'm I go down, them. uh, Yugoslavia, Albania, Greece, and then you, the rest is just yours, I guess. <laughs> you could have Spain. Uh, I, I'll, if it comes to that. I'll keep Spain as an Ireland. ally for now. Well, we'll see what you happens. Have Ireland. Oh, I'll I have can have Ireland? Ireland. You. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'll get the Eastern Europe stuff then. Head into Africa. Africa is just going to be the colonies, though, so. Yeah, pretty like, much. Like, I'll probably just wait till France falls. And then I'll go after the French colonies. They're gonna be fucking defenseless yeah, anyway. So we need a better so supply hub down here. And new China. Well, let's put an air base here. And get rid of the airfield. Also, let's just repair everything that we got here as well. Just to get it up to snuff. China's spying on me! I'll tell him to stop. Hey, China, stop. Fuck shit. <laughs> listen to Hitler! Yes, listen to the silly man with the mustache. Yes. Africa is just a bunch of colonies right now, so I mean, as you take European places, all this stuff's just gonna open up, and it's gonna be defenseless, too. I can take care of everything south of Hungary. Are you gonna exploit the oil in Libya? 
Oh, I'm gonna exploit everything. Because I think we need it. Yeah, I don't have enough oil. Don't worry, later on we'll, we'll just be saying like, Oh my god, there's too much oil in this game. We <laughs> have so much. What I need more of is indie goods. So I gotta find some places yeah, I don't to see place some indie soon. goods factories. <laughs> Not for me, at least. Let's build five of the factories here. Indie goods is gonna be a big thing again, I can tell. Mill goods is fine for now. We're just gonna accumulate a stockpile. I'm sure this is gonna be too much, but we can always buy from the market. We gotta keep an eye on it. We are gonna need oil and a bunch of other things like that. You'll have enough oil over there. China has a lot of oil. And Manchuko has a decent amount as well. But China has a lot all by itself, especially for your needs. Not to mention you have all the colonies down there in the Indo-Pacific region. Oh yeah, I got those. You're gonna be fine. So we're building up the indie goods. I gotta build up resources too. I can't just build up indie goods. Also, how is this doing? All right, these guys are not gonna be able to build this rubber. They're just not. So I got pretty much have to take them over. The world market's already concerned with me though, so I don't wanna do that just yet. I wanna make the world like me a little bit more before I start being more of an asshole. Downside to the Italian start is the world market starts out concerned with me, so I can't do any immediate invasions anyway. I'm gonna try to build up some of the oil that's in Italy that can be exploited, which doesn't appear to be a whole lot, actually. Yeah, I'm building 10 oil wells, and I think this is everything in mainland Italy that doesn't need a offshore rig, which I can't build those yet. And that's like 10 gas fields. That'll increase our production. It's not going to be enough, but it's going to increase our production. Nicaragua had a coup d'etat. I'll support. I support as well. Welcome to the dictatorship, brother. Welcome to the club. Before I invade anywhere, I'm probably going to annex most of my colonies and just put them to direct utilization. Thankfully, they all have really tiny populations. I'm not going to be conquering a whole lot that has research centers, so I should probably always be building my own research center somewhere. Let's say we place another in Rome. It'll be safe there, it'll take forever to build, but it's good to get started on one, although that is going to affect my inflation. My inflation is probably going to get a lot higher than it is right now. That's okay. My budget is positive all by itself. Probably in part because we're supporting each other again. Oh yeah. Entirely because of that. Everything else is getting up pretty nice. Looks like I'll have enough money to up the social assistance, so I might as well go ahead and do that. Doesn't cost a lot right now. Inflation's okay. I don't want to build too much because that's going to cause a problem. Man, look at this storm over Europe. Holy shit. I know it's raining cats and dogs over here, man. Rain, mud. Ooh, mud. That's always fun. So are you going to end up going for the USSR then? Of course. <laughs> of course I am. Why wouldn't I? What kind of question is that? Silly goose. <laughs> it will do it at the same time as the UK. Two wars. Nope. Oh yeah, are you gonna try to Operation Sea Line this shit? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Alright, guys. If both of you send me some money, I can get a whole bunch of text the Allies have that we don't in one trade and then shoot them over to you guys. How much All do you right. need? You guys have very different amounts of money. I could pay for half of it, and both of you can send me one bill each. Yeah, send me one bill each. Wow, that's a lot of technology. Oh, there's still more, I can't afford it. Let me send you guys what I have. Oh, there's a lot of technology, holy shit. You need more money? Uh, there's two more. Yeah, I would need like another bill or oh, so to get uh, what's yeah. remaining. Yeah. I I can't afford that right now. He has a lot of money though. He's, he still has almost three bill, uh, Narfi does. Yeah. All right, money received. Let me... Gotta catch us up. Here's the tech for Germany. Here's the tech for Japan. And now we are much more advanced. Woo! Teamwork. High five. Yay!